Hey everybody, Nivadoc5184 here and welcome to another reaction video. Today I am reacting to Blackpink's Boombaya. So from what I understand, this is actually their first single. So this is where it all started for them apparently. So um, if you've seen any of my other K-pop reaction videos, you already kind of know where I stand. Uh, Blackpink is like my group per se. So um, very interesting to see what their first single sounded like, you know. And, I'm actually what I'm really curious about is if their look has changed at all because you know you get some groups you know they've been around for a while their looks change quite a bit so I'm very curious to see if there's any difference in their looks or their styles or anything like that and even their sound but um yeah I'll leave it at that um if you all haven't seen the original make sure you go ahead and check that out I'll leave a link in the description below and also in this uh, info card right up there make sure you check it out and let's go ahead and get this started I like how it started already. I don't look like too different. I can appreciate that though. Okay. Alright, it all started off hard. Okay. Okay, so a uh, pretty good start so far, I have to say. Not too shabby at all. Um, really enjoyed how it kind of started. It's kind of like, I wish I could really put into words what it is that's going through my mind right now, what made me enjoy how this even started so much, you know? So I've been having a big problem with that lately in my past few reactions, trying to properly describe what it is I am thinking, what I am feeling but it's like all I can say is that I am digging how they're starting this off so far um you know I kind of like the whole rap and then like the sound it's kind of like gives you that good old-fashioned like early 2000s feel in a sense even though I'm pretty sure this was 2016 I think I don't remember I'd have to look at the date once I uh get off this again I you know I didn't pay too much attention beforehand but um no, I almost kind of get like a early 2000s feel to this song right now, so I'm really digging it. Yo, listen to that now, listen to it. You hear how it almost feels like it went to like a... Okay. okay so what got me so excited on that little bit that they just did you know how i said earlier how it almost felt like an early 2000s like vibe on there that totally got me there that totally sounded like something you would hear in like a EDM club of any sort, you know, back in the early 2000s. Maybe even nowadays you'd hear something like that, but I just get like, and I hate to say early 2000s as nostalgic, but for some people it is, because I mean, that's 20 years ago. I mean, can you believe that? <laughs> but, um, yeah, that sound, man, that's like definitely something I would expect to hear from that. That, oh, that got me hot. I'm not lying. That got me hot. That got me hot. Boom, bye, yeah. Keep it up with it, okay? Oh, yeah, 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 There she goes. Ooh, okay. Alright, here it 
goodbye part again. Alright, pause time. So, I'm not gonna lie. I like that rap bit, that part where, I mean, that that was. I really, I really enjoyed that. Probably because of the Rambo part. I'm not gonna lie, but uh, dude, that. I don't know, man. I mean, it's like. I feel like K-pop. Like it feels so. I don't want to say underground right now. It doesn't feel like it's been fully accepted in the mainstream in a sense. I mean, granted, yeah, we got, I mean, we got Blackpink. They, uh, oh, what was it they performed? It was it Coachella or something like that. Uh, you had BTS on talk shows and many different music awards and whatnot. But it's like, at the same time, it's almost like, it's amazing how I'll go into K-pop and people are like, I have no idea, you know? So it's like, it doesn't feel like it's been fully embraced mainstream yet. But I feel it should. I mean, only recently did I just, for the first time, yesterday actually, the uh, first time I heard uh, BTS's Dynamite on the radio. And it kind of shocked me that that was the first time. And I've heard Blackpink's Ice Cream on the radio, but only once for each of those. It's like, yo, I feel like they should be getting much more airplay. You know, it, I almost get a sense, uh, and I'm going to preface this by saying... I'm not talking about musical styles or talents, but I almost get a vibe of like the Beatles. It's like they aren't fully accepted, but then it's like once they're embraced, they are going to explode. I could see that with any of these groups. I mean, look at how popular BTS is already, but if they just get embraced by the mainstream and even like Blackpink or even other K-pop groups, I mean, oh boy. It's just, ugh. See if anybody crashed or burned on those skates. Okay, cool. I dug it. I dug it a lot. Yeah, this was a great song. I loved it. I'm definitely going to make sure I get more Blackpink. Uh, reactions into the mix as well as some other k-pop you know and uh, i know i've been focusing a lot on um uh black pink and i did a bts one but i need to throw some other k-pop groups out there so if you all know any other good k-pop groups that would be good to listen to definitely make sure you uh uh suggest them in the comments feel free i'm willing to give anybody a check out you know i've already got a couple of new groups that i've already tried and i'm going to um react to in the future coming up so yeah definitely feel free to leave a suggestion of any other k-pop groups you'd like to see me react to or even other uh good black pink songs you'd like to see me react to but um yeah i hope you all enjoyed it if you did make sure you hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to check out some of my other reactions um just stick around for a few more seconds to the end of the video you can subscribe from there and you can also check out my other reactions from there and as i said before leave a comment with any suggestions you have for any other reaction and i'll catch y'all down the road